which will take this opportunity by saying our head of state is getting the attention that it deserves by being welcome at uh, White House and especially in the U.S. And also, if you look at uh, the program talking about the issue of the U.S. trade, there's, there's the trade agreement between the U.S. and Kenya being discussed. Um, you realize the issue of uh, uh, the issue of security being discussed. Remember, security is becoming an issue here. And security, remember, if Iranian president can fall down from the sky, that's not security. Remember General Gola's death here. Uh, also remember the issues of the Kenya has been seen as a beacon of peace in East Africa. And I also told you the other day that the two most important countries in Africa, you know those two countries? is Kenya and South Africa. If no country can access Kenya and South Africa, in from the West, they are so concerned. Because without Kenya, you cannot access the Middle East, which is an important trade region. And uh, because if you cannot access South Africa, also you cannot be able to access uh, the Southern Cape is very important in accessing so many parts of Africa. Yes. So these two countries remain very important. That's why the British had interest in two of them. Until now, British has never left their interest. In fact, Americans have aligned with the British. So if you look at all this, so it's so important, not just in the, in the US, but also in Europe. Remember that British uh, guidance in Africa, you know, Britain guides a lot from the US. British become like almost the consultants of Americans because Americans never colonize Africa. Yet Americans have interest in Africa. Whom can they consult? Britain, because Britain are among the most solid uh, uh, colonizers that colonize Africa. So for me, for the image of it, reputation is it, will bring a lot of uh, reputation to Africa and also to Kenya for that matter. And it's good to start looking on from the view on what can you get. Because sometimes I'm being told some of them who don't like the president might spend too much time demonizing him that might not see the advantages of all this uh, uh, happening there.